On today's episode of Catch My Drift, you've got to beat the house. And I'm the house. Hey everybody, I'm Jake Steinberg and this is Catch My Drift. As you can probably tell by the length of this video, we're doing something a little different this week and we're playing a game. What I have done is linked in the description below, you will find a bet card, a survey for you to fill out that has all of these questions about Nintendo's 2024 and the Switch 2. That's right, we're making predictions and we're doing bets. And I wanna see if anybody out there is a better better than me. Can you get more predictions correct than me? And we will see at the end of the year who in my audience was able to catch the drift of the future best. And you will be immortalized as 2024's Catch My Drift Bet God. I want to see who is going to win. I don't think anybody can take me on, but I thought for this episode, I would go through and I would tell you what I'm thinking, where my head is at with all of these predictions and bets, but you don't want to just hear me drone on about all this stuff. So I've invited somebody else to join me today, and I hope you will click that link in the description below, follow along, fill out these bets as we go. Let's do it. Adam, welcome. You are the first ever guest on Catch My Drift. Thank you so much for being here. I want to let the people know really quick that you were instrumental in this in this channel even happening in uh, just encouraging me to make content on YouTube. And just I love your content. I love your channel, which, of course, will be in the description and everything like that. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm so, such a big fan. I think you were a big proponent of me even doing a YouTube channel, just so everybody knows. Oh, well, that's actually, that's very nice of you, Jake. There's been a couple of people that have helped start up YouTube channels because I genuinely think it's a very fun and just great way to spend your, your spare time. Wow. Even, even if you don't want to grow it as sort of this big show, yeah. even if it's just something small you want to do, it's just a great way to, yeah. to just express yourself. Adam, I didn't know that. I thought the relationship we had was special. So oh, I'm a, little, uh, oh, a little hurt. I'm but sorry, uh, I'm sorry, but, Jake. But Adam, they you're came here. before you, Jake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. Yeah. You're right. You're right. They came before. I, I can't. I can't change yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. So Adam, you're here because, as I've explained to the audience, we're going to be going through bets predictions for the 2024 year. Now, I started my channel after like the new year and everything, so I was like, oh man. I didn't get a chance to do this. I didn't get a chance to do my predi my predictions and stuff. But then I thought, you know what? No, I make the rules. So I'm going to do one now anyways. And I want to get everybody else involved. But I was like, you know what? I can't just be on here reading out my bets, reading out my my predictions to myself. I want, I want a little immediate feedback from somebody like you, very well versed in the video game industry. I want you to let me know. Temperature check. How am I doing? If you're with me, if you're not with me, as we go through each of these bets, and let me know what you think about them as we go along. Make sense? Yep, that Excellent. all makes sense to me. Excellent. Excellent. I'll get to tell you how wrong you are, Jake. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think I've got some good. Uh, I think I've got some good ones here. So um, we're gonna start off, and uh, and everybody can follow along in the description below with the link to the Catch My Drift official. Uh, 2024 betting document. And we're going to start off with the multiple choice section. So our first bet, true or false, uh, the true or false section, rather, the Switch 2 is backwards compatible with the Switch. So I feel like this is anytime there's a new console, there's like a huge backwards compatibility conversation because there aren't any Switch 2 games yet. We're all really concerned about our Switch 1 games. Like, oh man, I hope I, I get, to, get to bring all of this over. And personally, I'm not a diehard backwards compatibility person. I'm kind of, when that new system comes out, I just want to play Switch 2 games. With that said, I don't think there's any real reason why the Switch 2 won't be backwards compatible. If anything, I feel like Nintendo is going to keep launching Switch games through the end of the year, maybe even next yep. year. And they're going to want you to play those no matter where you're playing. So I'm saying, yes, the Switch 2 will be backwards compatible. True with the Switch. Do you agree? Yes, I totally agree. For two reasons. Yeah. Well, for one main reason is that it's it's the industry standard now. Yeah. Like, yeah. When when the when the PS4 came out, it, it wasn't it wasn't normal for for every single console to have backwards compatibility. The PS3 came out, it had backwards compatibility with the PS2 for a short while, yeah. and then eventually they phased that out. But now it's like you know we expect it. We have a PS5. We could play all of our PS4 games on that, and I think that's probably what Nintendo will do. There's always that, you know, that small, small chance where Nintendo do what Nintendo does and just say, ah, feck, 
We don't care about everybody else. We'll just do our own thing. And they and, don't make And that's the thing. And Adam, I think I think they don't want that heat. I think they're scared of that heat, especially at launch, you know? Um, yeah, may, yeah. Maybe, but I don't think Nintendo are scared of anything or anybody. Because Dang. at the end of the day, yeah. whether or not this is backwards compatible or not, mm -hmm. I'm buying it, you're buying it. Yeah. Every single person who wants it is going to buy it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next true or false. 4K is mentioned during the Switch 2 reveal. Now, it's hard for me to imagine Nintendo using real technical terms like 4K. Just hard for me to imagine. But I also think that you need to, part of the sell of this, of this console is going to be the increased power in comparison to the Switch. And they're going to have to make that clear. So the question for me really becomes, will they say it in the reveal? Will it be on screen or will, some, will the words come out of somebody else's mouth? And I got to tell you, I think no. I think no. I don't think anybody says it. Well, you, yeah. The, I think the way you worded, I see, I, I, did, I did this as well. And I put true, just thinking, mm. of course, well, it's going to be a 4K console. Yeah. Surely it has yeah. to be a 4K console. But now that you've worded it that way, that this is Nintendo, the, that yeah. when... When you look at the Switch reveal, mm. they're not concerned about showing you specs or telling you any of this fancy jargon. All they're saying is, look, you can take this out and you can play it at like the basketball court or you can bring it to your friend's house and play it at a party as if, you know, anybody actually ever did that. Especially the, basco the basketball part or basketball court part. Yeah. That was just so strange. But I think you've swayed me, Jake. Oh, even, though, even though I put true there, I think I would probably change my, my wording because I don't, I think the way you said it, I don't think, I don't think Nintendo will mention 4K exactly. now that I think about it. Yeah. This is, oh, Adam, this is what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm catching the drift of the future, if you will. Oh, he said it's, the show name. It's, yeah, it's, and it's, it's coming to me. And I'm like, no, I yeah. don't, I don't. And I think, I think what Nintendo wants to do is they want to show you a really good looking game. I don't think they want to say 4K. And I, and I don't think all their games will be 4K, and the handheld is definitely not going to be 4K. No, no. So, yeah. So, okay. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad we agree. I'm glad I've, I've swayed you. Okay. Uh, our next true or false. The Switch is capable of dual screen gaming. This is where we separate the boys from the men. Okay. <laughs> this is where the braves from the scareds is, is what's happening right here. Because the answer is yes. I think that there is a vision for this console about redefining the ways that you play the Switch. The original Switch, all about going from console to handheld and like tabletop is in the mix too. I do think that there is going to be a new thing that we switch to. So there's, there's the tabletop, there's the handheld, and I do think that there will be something that takes advantage of in some way, shape or form, two screens. That could be two systems or it could be off TV play. Oh, Jake, Jake, you you are really moving the, the lines there, big time. You 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 are you are making up things as you go along here by saying, fair enough. When you said dual screen, I was thinking, you know, yeah. a DS kind of thing. Like it but has now two saying, screens attached. Oh, yeah, but now you're like, oh, but it might also work if two separate consoles can work together. It's like I I think you're being a bit cheeky there. Now I think you're moving. I think you're moving things around just so you you might end up getting more points on on the no, no, on the no, scoreboard. No, no, no. I want to be clear. I'm being honest. I want to be clear. I, this is I'm talking bold. I'm talking in like the reveal for the system. They show you something that uses two screens. Period. Like the the system, uh, it's you know you see what I'm saying. It's not yes, not yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I don't mean and I don't mean like two people playing against each other tabletop mode. I mean like a Wii U or a DS. It, they don't have to be attached, but something with with two screens for one person. And is this they yeah. both come in the same box, or are you two using two separate systems? Either one. I think you're being very cheeky there. No, no, no. It, it is, it is capable. It is capable. Okay, of, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I think I think if... This is why we're doing ever, the video. This is why we're doing the yeah, video. Yeah, so every, yeah, so everybody I, understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think if you ever listen to Podcast Beyond or any of uh, okay. Colin Moriarty and yeah. Greg Miller's old shows, they mm. were the masters at moving <laughs> things around and wording things a certain way so that they would get points on the board because they just covered every single basis in one category. And I think that's what you're doing here. I think that it's either I'm right or this is just a normal Switch 
and it ha and it does things that the Switch does. I'm saying that this does something more that the that the current Switch does not do. And it's not like it's not like how in that Mario Party game you can put two systems next to each other and like have a big screen. Like no, it will be obvious if I'm right or wrong. So you don't so so you don't see this for the Switch. You don't see it for the Switch too. You I, don't. Yeah. I would like it to be true. Yeah. But I have a feeling that the Switch Two will be a Switch Two okay. and not a a whole new yeah. way of playing games. Which I, yeah. I'm in two minds about. But yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Uh, I w I wouldn't be unhappy with just a Switch that is a more powerful Switch. Okay. Uh. Next bet. Switch Two has Street Pass like functionality. Yes. True. Uh, I, I'm I'm not I'm not going to elaborate because there's a bet later that is why this that it all ties in. So we'll we'll get, I'll come back to this. But or did you go true or false for this? I went false. Okay, you don't see it. No. Okay. All right. Any any you just think Nintendo didn't like it? They've gotten away from it. Yeah, I just think like let's be honest. Who who mm -hmm. carries their Switch around much? Like, it's not like the 3DS. That's a fair point. The That's way with point. the 3DS, you, you know, you saw the typical thing of, oh, it's in my back pocket. A lot of people did that. But with right. the Switch, you know, not that many people do it. They bring it around with them in their bags, yep. but it's probably switched off because they want to conserve battery or right. something like that. So, I don't know. I, I just don't see it ever the battery. really being useful. Yeah, yeah, the battery's a big point. All right. Uh, next bet, Nintendo Talks VR on Switch 2. I've been thinking so much about this. And I do think that the Switch 2 will be VR capable. I do think that is in their plans. I don't think they talk about it in year one. I think by the time I'm reviewing this bet, they have not talked about VR. I just, I, because to me, if you talk about VR, you have to have VR games. And I just don't think Nintendo has like a bunch of VR games ready to go. Nor, nor do I think that that's like the right way to launch a new console. Be like, oh, here's some <laughs> VR, you know. So, uh, so, so I'm going to go, I'm going no for this one. But I do think it's coming in the future. Yes, I, I also went no, and I would just love a future where we get to see what Nintendo do with VR. Because, mm. I mean, even looking at Sony and what they do with VR, like you look at Astrobot, imagine a Super Mario game in VR, or a Donkey Kong game in VR, or Metroid in VR, or even Zelda mm. in VR, which would be my absolute favorite. I always think about Pokemon, Adam. I always think about Pokemon. Oh VR. yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it, it just it just <laughs> writes itself. Yeah, it's so easy. It yeah. could be the dumbest game ever, dude. The second you yeah. go, <laughs> or even like Pokemon Snap in VR. No, it's so like yeah, best game ever made. Yeah, yeah. craziness. All right. Yeah. Uh, the Switch Two has special triggers. Now, what I mean by this is triggers that are different than the Switch, the current Switch Joy-Con triggers. So they have functionality that specifically makes them different. Maybe they are analog triggers. Maybe they are like the dual sense, like the PS5 triggers, how they have like resistance. Anything that the, the, the Joy-Con don't have, I will accept here. And I think false. I think no. I think that they're going to be exactly the same as the Joy-Con. Oh, really? Now, I do. I forgot to fill that one out by it, but I would have said true because I do think it will have analog triggers. I mean, that's... Okay. I think that's probably the one thing that the, the the Switch Pro controller is an absolutely amazing controller, mm. and I think that's that's the only thing that is missing. Do both? Does Xbox have analog triggers? I think so. <laughs> I actually have my Xbox controller here too. Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, they they, they no, they definitely do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not just because it's to do. Yeah, yeah, it's to do with like depending on how yeah, yeah, how yeah. hard you okay. hold it. Yeah, because I'm thinking like playing Rocket League or something. Yeah. They definitely yeah. do. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, so yeah. yeah, so maybe you just want it for that purpose for like yeah. third party games. Mm. I didn't think about that. Espe I'm, yeah, yeah, okay. especially if the Switch is you know all these rumors of it running Final Fantasy VII remake or you know one mm. of these sorts of third party games. You, you yeah. want to at least hold parity with all the other consoles. All right, I'm I'm sticking I'm sticking with no. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just, I just I just feel like this is an area where they're just gonna stick with the Joy-Con. But but I will say a Mario Kart. Coming back to like with a little, you know, with a little special yeah. trigger. That'd be a good time. That'd be a good time. All right. Um, okay. Another question that I think is going to separate the Braves from the cowards. You can stream directly from Switch 2. Yes. Share button, baby. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. We've got the screenshot button. We've got we're, we're we're upgrading it. You will be able to stream directly from the Switch 2. And Adam, listen to this. You will not be able to stream to Twitch or YouTube. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. in, <laughs> I, like I, I personally don't think you will be able to stream full stop. But yeah. if you are able to stream, it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if they're just like, oh yeah, you can stream, but you can only stream to your friends on the Nintendo app. Yes. And they have to use a QR code yes. to yes. watch the stream. And it's like 480p, 30 yeah. FPS, and you have absolutely no control over it whatsoever. Yes, 100% yes. Yeah. yes. Yes, that's yeah. how I imagine yeah. it. There's a there's an app that's like Nintendo Live or something, and you and you go in that app and you can see like streams. That's that is the, you know what I mean. But it's like, but it's super curated. It's like what yeah. you said. Like you have to have like a special code to get to somebody's stream. Yeah, 100%. But um, but you're going you're going no. You you cannot stream from the system. No, no, I, I don't think so. It's it's uh. I don't know, Nintendo just I'm not even sure if it's if it's out of not having the skill for it or they just simply do not care. Okay. Because they, they launched the they launched the online app where you can talk to your friends and they've done nothing with that since it's launched. And right. this is just more online functionality that they just probably don't care about. The the reason why this came to me is because I feel like they have more and more games that that like the like your Breath of the Wild and your Tears of the Kingdom that are these kind of like tweetable moments. And I'm like, man, I wonder if Nintendo wants to be more in control of that. Like a, like a, having its own thing yeah. where you like share a video clip and it's like, oh, look at this creation I made or, you know, something like that. I can just I can see that. And it's kind of a throwback to the Miiverse a little bit. Kind of a little a little throwback. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. So. Yeah, no, I do think it would yeah. be cool. I just don't think it would be Understood. anything that... I mean, like, I just looked at, like, the Switch has sold 132 million units without needing any fancy online functionality, so... That's true. Yeah. Uh, there is a digital-only Switch 2. Now, this, of course, I did not stipulate, but this is, of course, in, in the time until I review these bets, so presumably in the year 2024, there is a digital-only Switch 2. I think this might be controversial. I'm going no... Um, I think the trend is we see there's a digital only Xbox, there's a digital only PlayStation. Um, the Steam Deck is digital only, I suppose. And uh, but the uh, but I think Nintendo still needs those cartridges. I still think there's it's still like a family oriented device, and you need to serve all sorts of people. I think it makes sense. We're still going to be doing cartridges on Switch Two, but I will say, I think a digital only Switch Two will come in the future, just not year one. Yeah, I, I do agree because when it comes to Nintendo games, they have the highest like physical to digital sales of, of the three platforms. So Correct. like if if you think of someone who wants to buy physical games or collects physical games, more than likely they are a Nintendo fan. So yep. I think they're just not playing to the right market. Plus with the Switch being, as you said, a family console, yeah. It's like how how many people like are there, you know, a grandparent is buying it for their for their grandchild or a mom's buying it for their son or something. So mm. they want to be able to have them people go into Walmart or Best Buy or Smith's over here in Ireland, if anyone's in Ireland, you know, best Irish game retailer and go in and, you know, buy the game yeah. for them to give it to them on Christmas. Completely agree. But I do see it in the future. I think I think they're gonna they're gonna try it. They're gonna see how it goes. Uh okay. Pokemon red, blue, and yellow are playable on Switch. This one tore me apart. I have realized I have complicated feelings about if they're going to do this or not. But at the end of the day, I think they're, you know, you're sunsetting the 3DS where those games are available. You're sunsetting Pokemon Bank on the 3DS eventually. I do think they want to have those games there. And I bet you Nintendo worked out a deal with the Pokemon company where they're like, okay, for our second year of Game Boy on NSO, this will give us a bump. And we will be able to kind of like re- invigorate that service with the new Pokemon games and then you Pokemon can sell Pokemon home subscriptions by telling people they can take Pokemon from those old games and transfer them to the modern games so it's a little a little you scratch my back I scratch your situation I think it works out for everybody I think it's time I think these games are coming to switch where, where are you with this I am completely right down the middle because yeah. I I just don't really I, I don't really pay attention to the Nintendo Switch online. Yeah. Or Pokemon. Like I love playing right. the Pokemon games, but yeah. I just wait until like game comes out and I get it. So yeah. I genuinely 
you know, I'm not going to be one of these people who's going to sit here and waffle on something that I don't know anything about. I'm just going to say, yeah. I don't know anything about it. Leave it up to the experts like Jake. Would you play Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow if they came out on Nintendo Switch? Would you Would you uh, jump in? No, no, no interest. No interest. Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, them. Like, you know, yeah. you know Jake, old. I understand. I understand yeah. your channel. Yeah, yeah. You love Pokemon. Love A lot Pokemon. of the people on this channel yeah. will also love Pokemon. I also love Pokemon. But my first Pokemon was Pokemon Pearl. Dear God, and even, Adam. even playing Pokemon Pearl or Platinum now, yeah, still kind of slow. Well, well, Adam, I will let you know those games were the slowest games. Oh yeah, 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 I know. They Platinum were. Yeah. <laughs> Plat Platinum was upgraded. Yeah, but I yeah, just yeah. mean the old, the old style of I, I think as yeah. much as the new style of Pokemon has loads of problems. Yeah. There's one thing that they did really well is that mm. it streamlined the experience of giving you the best parts. Yeah. At pretty much all times when mm. you're playing it so there was very little getting in your way yeah whereas the older ones especially them game boy ones yeah yeah they're slow wow that's interesting okay i'm mostly just curious to i would love those games these games to come out on this platform because i think it'd be fun to see like what the social media conversation is about them if they came out in the modern context what people would say i think that'd be fun mm. to kind of re reinterrogate but yeah yeah um all right True or false, Link and Zelda movie actors are revealed before December 31st, 2024. I went with yes. I think it will, I think that movie is a ways off, but I think the way this works is you attach celebrities to the movie really early on, and I think Nintendo doesn't want those to leak, and they want to say them, them themselves. So there will be some stupid press release where they're just like, we have our Link and Zelda, and we'll know for like a full year Maybe longer before that movie comes out. That's that's what I envision. Yeah, I said true, and it's for that cool. exact same reason. Just just yeah. they don't want that information to get out, and they want to have the moment themselves. I guess. Plus, I mean, as as much as you know, Chris Pratt was memed on. I mean, yeah. whoever is going to play Zelda and Link, they're more than likely going to get memed on too. But that probably only helps them. Yeah, I think so too. Especially after the success of the Mario movie, I think they have a little cushion. They can, you know, uh, Star Fox returns in twenty twenty four. Been thinking a lot about Star Fox. Feeling like I just I like really want a new Star Fox game, but for 2024, I'm saying no. Me too. Ah, okay. Because I I even I even think like a remaster or a remake that 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 works, and I I like I really like I don't know. I just want to be back in the ship. I really do, but I just don't see I I don't see how I, I feel like it's not time. It doesn't feel like hmm. it's ripe. I don't know. Do you have any interest in yeah. a start? Yeah. The, uh, no. the best Star Fox game is Starlink Battle for Atlas. Let's be yeah, real. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Star Fox 64, I played the 3DS. Well, I, I played the N64 version back in the day too, but I played the 3DS version. It just There's just not a game for me. They're, the series okay. just isn't for me. And then I never played Star Fox Zero, and apparently that game is like all over the place anyway. I really liked the 3D one on 3DS. I thought that was good 3D. I liked seeing it that way, even though it was just... A yeah, yeah, the technology system. was yeah, good, but was cool. I, the game itself, I was played it like i did like five runs of it and i was like oh yeah that's fine yeah. switch 2 has a real camera not an ir camera a real camera a camera that you can use to take photos or whatever so this is part of my uh my live stream prediction i think you could have your face in the <laughs> <laughs> like alongside your gameplay and that's part of what they're doing I, I do think there's a camera and i think everyone will be really mad about it i don't think there will be okay and i would probably see this is the thing with talking about the live streaming earlier mm. as well nintendo are a very they're, they're very afraid of online specifically with all yeah. the, with the sort of like security side of it and like having kids online and yeah so i just think with, with how like streaming and the modern era is, I just don't think there will ever be a camera on it. I understand that. I also, I like mm. to imagine this world in which you put the Switch 2 on its dock and the camera now lets like your motion controls be better than they are on Switch 1. So it's kind of like a sensor bar it for connect. the- yeah, yeah, some, yeah, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because right, because I, I, I would love to see Nintendo kind of like get a little bit back into motion control stuff, especially if they end up doing VR later. It'd be cool to have like, oh, the motion control oh, yeah. is yeah. significantly better here than it is on Switch One. So, I think you could use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, who needs that IR camera on the bottom of that Joy-Con? Not me. Yeah, to to milk the cows and milk, see yeah, what are yeah, eat ice, the, eat yeah, the burgers. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of yeah, awful. Uh, all right, that brings us to the end of the true or false section. Now we make our way into the multiple choice uh, section. The first question here is, 
which month does Switch 2 release in? Adam, I'm going August. Do you agree? August. August. That's a that's an interesting time for a console to release, no? Yeah. Let me tell you why. You reveal cool. it. You reveal it late March, early April. You have a few months of advertising. You get your first wave of sales from the day one gamers, August. You get through that first shipment. Uh, and then you have the second wave in the holidays. You get everybody in that, you know, late October, November, December area. You get people for their Christmas presents, things like that. Just makes sense to me. And I think if you come out in August, you have a banger first party title at launch. And then about every six-ish weeks, you have another game ready to go through the end of the year. I disagree. Okay, what do you think? Well, I think it's coming out in March 2025. Adam, at time was, of recording, at time of recording, it is it is February. It is February yes. of 2024. And you're telling me that one year from now, I still will not have my hands on the Nintendo Switch 2? Yes, I believe so. Because, so, I was, I was in between, you know, sort of a, a late 2024, early 2025 release date. I don't think okay. it comes out any time before that. And... You know, I'm not really one that keeps up on leaks and rumors and all that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people might have said stuff that will prove me wrong instantly. But I just can't see this. I mean, we specifically August, first of all, I think if it was coming out in August, we'd probably know about it either very, very soon or we'd know about it already. So my guess is mm -hmm. it's going to be revealed in sort of the fall of this year and released in march i i this is insane to me but I, sorry yeah. uh, also sorry yeah but if it gets announced soon it's coming out yeah. in november or november okay so yeah so you do you understand that like the traditional holiday launch yeah. window for consoles yeah. okay but see we have we have to remember that mm -hmm. more than likely a ps5 pro is also coming out this year and that's why I think the Switch 2 is coming out this year, too. I think it I think it makes sense for them to, like, want to get in front of those consoles, actually, uh, so that the gap doesn't get even wider. Yeah, 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 may, yeah may, maybe, mm -hmm. but I, I still, I just think Nintendo, Nintendo just have an arrogance about them. Yeah, I hear you. Where they, they, they generally do not care. That's why I'm surprised about, did you hear, like, the, about how the Nintendo Direct has been moved? Because of the I, I, Xbox yeah, thing. I don't, I don't believe that rumor at all. But yeah, cause, yeah, cause yeah. I, I'm sitting there thinking, like, do Nintendo have Nintendo ever cared about anything any of their competitors have ever done? No, right. they just Nintendo do their own thing, and that's it. And that's why, yes, man, I'm going. I, I think if, as I said, if it gets announced relatively soon, it's yeah. out in November. But if, if we don't know anything by the summer, it's coming mm. out in March. Okay, I hear you. I man, if if we end up having like that traditional kind of like last year of a console be like this kind of slow drawn out thing, which I think is what will happen if the if it comes out next year, that's so, mm. that's gonna be so disappointing. I I would hope they kind of just slide into the next console generation this year, um, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. Uh, remember to fill out your fill out your bet cards. So let me know. Uh, okay, how much does the base Switch 2 cost? I have a couple of ranges here uh, from $200 to $300, $300 to $400, $401 to $500, and then uh, over $500. Uh, this is, of course, US dollars. Apologies. But uh, or, or, <laughs> I think it's costing um, $399. Yeah. So, like, $400 US dollars. Yeah. So, that would be between $301 and $400 in the range that I put here. You agree? Yeah, I agree. As yeah. I, I think we we were on another discussion, and I wanted the switch too to be like five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that will happen. I would like for it to happen, but I've gone. I, I yeah, three ninety nine, ninety nine dollars. Cool. Which will probably be closer to like four hundred and fifty euro over here. So we'll get uh, shafted as we always do. But yeah, I think that's a good price point because it's it's cool. enough of a bump where it kind of shows. Oh, this this might be slightly more powerful than the original switch, like in in comparison to when it came out. But now that I think about it, yeah, that's literally just covering for inflation. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. If I, even that probably doesn't even cover the inflation. Uh, yeah, I just my point of reference is that I feel like they're still selling um, the Nintendo Switch for three hundred dollars, like the OLED model or whatever. I feel like I still see that thing going for three hundred dollars. So I just feel like 
in terms of optics, you you put it up not at the same price as that, a hundred dollars more. I feel like maybe Nintendo loses a little bit on that, but I but I think they're probably okay to lose a little bit on that. On yeah. a console, yeah. Yeah, spe- so especially software. considering the amount of units of games they sell, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll yeah, make yeah. their money back. Yeah. Like, if say, let's say, like, a, oh, well, there's actually, there's another question up later. But if okay. a big game launches, you know, it's going to sell, yeah. you know, 20 million units in a week or something. Yeah, I'm curious to see the spread in the back end of, of people f- filling out the bet cards, what they think here, what the public sentiment is. If I, I think there might be more people than I expect that are like, nah, dude, it's going to be $300 just like the Switch. And if that's the case, shocking. Shot. That'll that'll the internet will be shocked. Um yep. yeah. Okay. I will also be very concerned if it's three hundred dollars. Me too, a little. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's like it, like what are you selling us here if it's only three hundred dollars? Concerning. I, I agree. Yeah. It's concerning. Uh okay. Choose a Switch 2 launch title. I tried to list out a bunch of big Nintendo franchises. I think we all assume that one of these will be available day one with the system, um, from your 3D Mario to your Mario Kart to your Zelda Smash Metroid. Uh, Which one did you go with? I went with Mario Kart. You're one of these people. You think it's coming out day one. Yeah. Wow. That, That would be really crazy. I don't think so. I, I, I'm looking back on the success of the Switch, and I feel like for no reason other than um, it is a single player versus a multiplayer game conversation, I think you launch, I don't know why, I think you launch with a single player game. I think maybe that is less pressure than launching with a multiplayer focused title, especially since who knows who has this console day zero. So if you're trying to play online and stuff, like in a Mario Kart, I think that might be an issue. So I think Mario Kart comes out a little bit after. And I think the first thing that comes is a new 3D Mario, reminiscent of Mario Odyssey. And every the big rumor now, Adam, this caught fire, is everybody says you're gonna it's gonna be a Mario and a Donkey Kong mm-hmm. game. I don't believe it. Just Mario. Donkey Kong is not getting involved. That's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what what remember the rumors of what is it Nintendo EAD is that the the Mario the Odyssey team they mm-hmm. were working on a, a Donkey Kong game? I don't believe them. Yeah, so yeah. here here was here was my thought. So you you were talking about the single player game. Yeah. So I think Metroid Prime this yeah. will go into a later one. I think yeah, Metroid yeah. Prime 4 is going to be a launch title. And okay. it's yeah. going to be a cross gen launch title. Okay. So like that Breath has of the Wild. single Yes, so okay. that has a single-player game covered. Mm-hmm. And I think... Now, Metroid was never really a big seller, mm-hmm. but Zelda was never really a massive seller either until the Switch. Like, it sold way, it sold more than Metroid did, but it was never the Mario or right. the right. Smash or the Mario Kart. So that's just where I'm at. I think Metroid Prime is going to be the cross-gen uh, launch title, and then Mario Kart will also launch on it. Because I don't think... I don't think if Metroid Prime is a launch title, you mm-hmm. launch with a 3D Mario game as well. I think if you mm. if you're looking to launch with a single player game, mm-hmm. you go one or the other. Got it. And yeah, I hear you. if if a 3D Mario game is the launch title, then mm-hmm. Mario Kart won't come out because you can't have a, a single player Mario and a multiplayer Mario game at the same time. Sure. So Metroid Prime Four and Mario Kart Ten or X or mm. Infinite or whatever we're gonna call it. Yeah. I hear you. I, I have this vision in my head of the Mario Kart coming like a month after launch or like hmm. two months after launch. I you know, which is kind of similar to what they did with eight deluxe yeah. of the Switch, but um what that Mario Kart will be, who knows? Uh yeah, so we kind of just mentioned this, but Metroid Prime 4, is it exclusive to Switch? Exclusive to Switch 2 or a hybrid title? You said it's a hybrid title like Breath of the Wild. Uh I think it's exclusive to Switch. I don't think this game has a Switch 2 skew. And the reason for that is that I'm expecting the graphical jump from Switch to Switch 2. To be so big that it will either be a <laughs> that I think it would be a really ugly Switch 2 game. And if it was a hybrid, you would you would just be like, oh man, I, I wish they just made this for Switch 2. I think they need to get Metroid Prime 4 out on Switch before the Switch 2 comes out. I think that needs to be there uh, immediately. And then maybe when the Switch 2 comes out, you get some bonuses. You get some like, oh, okay, the the, the load times are shorter. But that's it. I don't see this thing coming to Switch 2 at all. Um, I, I Yeah, I just think optically it would be bad. I think optically it would be bad to have a Switch 2 game that looks in any way, shape, or form like a Switch game. I don't think there will be any hybrid titles for this thing. Backwards compatible or bust. Yeah. 
that's very interesting. Bad optics. Because, yeah. Well, I understand what you mean with the optics, but yeah. Nintendo have a history yeah. of doing this. I know, but this is the biggest Throughout jump. This is going to be the biggest technical jump. Think about the jump from Wii U to Switch. Barely a power jump, Adam. Barely a power mm. jump. Think about the power jump from GameCube to Wii. Barely a power jump. There and it, and what was the what was the what was the hybrid thing between the Wii and the Wii U? There wasn't one, and that was from SD to HD. And I think seven years of Switch go into the next thing. It's going to be a big power jump. I don't think they can. I don't think they can have a game that is capable of running on Switch also be on Switch Two and be proud of it. But could it not be a situation where they say, uh? Prime 4 on mm -hmm. the Switch is a 1080-30 game. Mm -hmm. And to show the boosted power mm -hmm. of the Switch 2, it's a 4K 60 game on Switch 2. Because do you think 60 FPS is going to be where the Switch 2 starts? I think... Or yeah, yeah. I think that... Nintendo is not interested in making things a higher resolution. They're not interested. That mm. that that will never be a mm. selling point for them. They will never yeah. show the Switch yeah. and the Switch 2 version and the Switch 2 version is just sharper. They will never do that. Um and I and I think like that would just make the Switch version look bad. So I think you have to make a choice. You have to go, are we going to make a really dang good-looking Switch game? Or are we going to make th like a a a bad looking Switch Two game? And I don't think you can have both. I think the best looking Switch game is gonna not look good on Switch Two. But yeah, if we take it to the PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five, like yeah, it's the, yeah, only been since last yeah, that's it's only point. been since last yeah. year since they've had a, like official. Right. This is only on PlayStation Five. Like God of yeah. War Ragnarok came to PS Four and PS Five. Yeah, and on both consoles that game still looks great. I know. I think Nintendo's different. I just don't. I just don't think they have it in them to like to to sell the, these products this way. I think they want to show you one thing, and the one thing is what it is. And um, I know they have that that history of like the the hybrid thing, the the hybrid uh, the game consoles for the games. But I but I think that in all of those situations, it was either very clear what the difference was and the difference was never really visual i think it was like oh on the wii with twilight princess you get the you get the motion control yeah, and that's like a, that's yeah. a, that's such an easy thing to communicate um unless i'm forgetting something i like even in breath of the wild it was it's the same game it's this it's the same game like even visually uh so I just I just can't see it. I can't see them having this game on two platforms and there's a big difference between them. And I think if it's on the two platforms, there has to be. So for that reason, I think it's a Switch game. I think it has backwards compatibility. You play it on your Switch too. Maybe you have better load times. Mm, well, well, see, now, now that is assuming that the Switch yeah. is just a simple... The Switch 2 is a simple power upgrade. Right. Because it could be a hybrid launch title if the Switch 2 is something different. That is correct. Like, play it on the Switch here yes. and you'll get blah or you'll get this and blah, blah, blah. But if you play it on the Switch... Two, you'll be able to, let's say for argument's sake, you have your dual screen. It's like, I know! you can have your inventory or you can have your map over here. Similar, no, they didn't exactly lean into this, but for the Wii U with uh, Breath of the Wild, didn't, yeah. wasn't the map on the gamepad and you could see your inventory at all times? I think they took that functionality out of the, the Wii U oh. version of Breath of the Wild. Oh, because okay. they didn't want to make it the superior version. But I, but I, yeah, but hundred percent. Yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. I a hundred percent see what you're saying, and I do think that that is a possibility. So it, it's it's, but that's the will they put that much work into Metroid Prime Four? If you ask me, no. So that's that's where I come down on it. But I do think that that would achieve the difference. Yeah, that would. Mm. I yeah, I think that would be the correct way to do it. A hundred percent. Yeah. Well, well. See, I, I'm just sitting here and thinking now. Again, Metroid hasn't been the, the the seller that even close to what Zelda has been, but maybe they want to launch Metroid into being that sort of a game. Yeah. Where they they saw the success with Breath of the Wild, where they Breath of the Wild took Zelda to a whole new height. Like Zelda is one of my favorite franchises ever. Mm -hmm. But once Breath of the Wild came out. Everybody was talking about Zelda. 
And I wonder if that's what they're trying to do with Metroid, where it's like, we want to take this series to the next step. It's where such we a risk. Can... It's such a yeah. risk. Because it's the it, hard it sell. It's the hard sell. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it would be so cool to see, though. It would be so cool to see. I don't know. It's like Metroid, you know, a, a Western franchise for a lot of it. You know, what's going on, I feel like. It's, it's, it's hard for me to see that vision, but it would be so cool. It would be, man... I mean, I personally, I would just love a Metroid with that enhanced motion control I was telling you about earlier. Do some yeah. aiming. Do some, I, I think that'd be a great time. All right. Uh, this has really surprised me with the questions we spent more time on than others. So, <laughs> so moving on. The meta score for Princess Peach Showtime. I realize this is not a Switch 2 thing, but this I just think that this is a true, like a great bet. Because I think it is anybody's guess what this yep. game is going to score, truly, in a way that not a lot of Nintendo games are. So, um, Adam, where are you with Princess Peach Showtime? What do you think? I put it on an 81 to 85. Okay. Because yeah. I I was in between like seven like 76 to mm -hmm. 85, mm -hmm. and I think it will sit in that range because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when Nintendo make a game, mm -hmm. it's rarely below that. And that that was that was my that was my only thought is that Nintendo do reach just a, a general objective level of quality in their games that more than likely won't have a drop below a seventy six. Wow. Okay. But I did yeah. go eighty one to eighty five because okay. I am hoping that this is something like I, I genuinely I'm I'm interested in the game because I yeah. want to see something new that isn't. Yeah, I love three D Mario. I absolutely love them. But you know, at the end of the day, it's three D Mario, and even Mario Wonder last year, which was. One of my favorite games last mm. year was still 2D Mario. So I yeah. want something a bit different from it. Uh, I'm right there with you. This is probably my most anticipated Switch game right now. I'm really excited for it. I think that this game is going to have a lot of discourse. I think that there's going to be a lot of like, but it's for kids, but it's for this, but it's for what the meaning of the game is. And I think you're going to see a lot of hot takes. You're going to see people give this game a 9-5, a nine five, a 9 out of 10. You're going to see people give this game a 6. And... Um, and for that reason, I, I think that just because we're closing on on the Switch's life cycle, because I think it's a, an incredibly, uh, like, a pop in year for video games, I think it's going to come down more negative. And I actually think the score for this game is going to be between 71 and 75. I think it's I think it's going to get low in the in the in the score and I think that and and I don't know. I hope I like it more than that. Yeah. But um but yeah, I'm predicting discourse with this game. And yeah. and based on the trailers, there is a fear that everything is kind of just like an extended mini game. And I hope it's more than that. But um but it remains to be seen. I think the I think the preview stuff has not been super telling of like what the gameplay loop is really like in this game yet. Um but I hope it's good. But I hope it's good. Yep. Yeah. Jake, so you're telling me that this is your most anticipated Switch game of the year in a game where we get like we have two Switch games coming out? Yes. I am looking okay. forward to this more than I'm looking forward to like the the remakes. The tails in your door, yeah. yeah, remake. I, yeah. Woo. yeah. I, I'm excited <laughs> to play that because because the comments, the co listen, comment. Don't get mad at me. The comments have convinced me that I'm gonna like this game. They they tell me it's very good and that I specifically will like it. So we'll see. Maybe I'll stream that when that comes out. That could be fun. Yeah. Um. All right. Now we're moving into our big bets. These are ten points each. We're almost done here. Uh, what is the name of the console that we are referring to as the Nintendo Switch Two? Adam, are you a Switch Two person? You think it's gonna be the Switch Two? No, no, no. I, I hope it isn't the Switch 2. Cool. I hope it's called the Super Switch. Okay, you're a, you're a Super Nintendo Switch yeah. person. Okay, excellent. Mm. Uh, I have been thinking a lot about this, and I went through a lot of different versions of what I think the console is going to be called. I actually think that I, I, I'm, I'm not in on the... Uh, on the two either and where i came down on it was i don't need to go through my list of all my my <laughs> debunked names i was about to do that god forgive me uh i think it's going to be called the nintendo switch life and the nsl the nintendo switch life oh, i think you're getting into wii u territory there no, where... no let, me, let me sell it let me oh, sell go on. it okay go on, yeah, go yeah. on sell it, sell so it, sell so it. i think the beauty of the nintendo switch is that the name is um descriptive of what the console is right it's telling you what it does it has an iconic sound that goes along with it that you know that we're all familiar with yeah we all love that sound and i'm like okay i think you hold on to the switch brand hype but you have to make it immediately clear how the switch is different this the switch life is different from the normal switch and i think the thing that makes the console different is that if you look at the nintendo switch you turn it on 
games. You just play games. You go into games. It's fast. You go. That's that's it. I think that the, that the Switch 2, the promise of it is that it is more integrated in your life. They've got all the game stuff figured out, but now there's a lot of these social features like the streaming app thing I was talking about. There's stuff like Street Pass, for example. There's stuff that you use, maybe this dual screen thing where they all talk to each other and it fits more into your life. Now, when you put the switch in the dock, the dock is open faced and that screen does something all the time. Maybe it has a clock on it. Maybe you walk into the room and Mario goes, Wahoo! Hello, Jake. Welcome home. <laughs> no. You know, I don't want that. <laughs> I'll be walking into my bedroom. Mario's yeah, yeah. face will pop up, and he'll start speaking to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you, you pay ten dollars, you get Luigi, and then Luigi goes. Oh well, hey, now hey, I would hey, give him ten dollars for that. Is he? Is he there? Yeah, yeah. You go, Hello, Jake. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I, like this is this is the vision I see for it. It's Nintendo Switch Life. You are, and then they show that that's the big pitch in the trailer. They reveal it. They go, look at all these different ways it's fitting into their life. Oh, they're sending messages to other players, a thing we've never done before. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I, I see this. I see this clearly. I think it's Nintendo Switch Life. Well, I, well, uh, the only thing I'll say to that is yeah. that would be cool. Like, yeah. I would like to see, no, I would yeah. like to see Nintendo branch out and do more than games. Yeah. But that also leaves the floor open to another Wii U potential situation where yeah. people go in and they're going into the shop like, oh, what's the Nintendo Switch life? Is that just like an like a, a little accessory to my to my kids' Nintendo Switch? And then they go buy it. Like, Jake, yeah. you, I bought a Wii U in... When did the Wii U come out? Was it 2012? Probably. Okay, I believe I got mine in 2013, okay? Yeah. And I was telling all my friends about it. I was loving playing all my games because I just love Nintendo so much. You know, I'm, Nintendo was my best friend. But I remember even talking to my gamer friends who played on PC. I was like, I got, a, I got a Wii U. And they're like, what's that? Is that like an extra controller for your Wii? I was like, no, it's a new console. I know. I was like, And these are people who are into game. Now, fair enough, they're not into Nintendo games, but they're yeah. into PC game. They're, they're ingrained in it. So I just don't think it's going to be called a Nintendo Switch Life. I, I would like to see them branch out. Yeah, I want it. I want it to be the Super Nintendo Switch has a nice SNS, and yeah. then there you go. I know, I like it too, and I think that would be nice. But I just feel like Nintendo—they're a multimedia company now. They've got theme parks, they've got movies, yeah, yeah. they've got—you know what I mean? It's not just about the games; it's about the lifestyle. It's about you know, watch that movie on your Nintendo Switch Life. Watch that—you know—it's—it's—I I see a device companion that is more of a companion than it is just for playing games. For the for for them, I I I don't know, and maybe that's just what, what the direction I want them to go in. But um, I also just think that that's interesting. So maybe I I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. So that's that's what I'm hoping for. I wanted to throw something fun out there. I don't want to just be one of these Nintendo Switch Two people. I genuinely think Nintendo Switch Two is not the name. Oh uh, no no I gen I, I yeah. also don't believe it. Okay. I, I, All right. I know. Uh, Okay, now now I've got some kind of like weird questions here. We'll just kind of glide through these because I don't think we need to get we need to get too deep into them. Yeah. I think it's more about the the question. Uh, tell me about 2024's big Pokemon game. Is it more like Scarlet and Violet, BDSP, Let's Go, or Legends? Paint a picture. And you already said you're not really the, you're not really following all the Pokemon stuff. But I think what's interesting right now is that everybody's kind of trying to like create a pattern. Uh, I think Pokemon's in like a in a weird spot right now, and it really could be like anything of the stuff I I mentioned, or something completely different. You know, there wasn't a Legends game before the first Legends game. There wasn't a Let's Go game before the first Let's Go game. So maybe whatever's coming this year is something that we've never really seen before. So I'm just looking to pe for for people to tell me what they think it's going to be. This is really out there. That's why it's worth a lot of points. Um, my current thing is that I feel like the game is going to be a combination of regions. And I'll, I'll write this up. I'm not going to give my full answer for the friends and fans. But, uh, but we've never really seen Nintendo or the Pokemon company do like, how do I want to say this? Like fusions. I kind of think fusions are coming. Yeah. Yeah. That so would be cool. Yeah. Because in the remake schedule, the next one is supposed to be Gen 5. And I think the Pokemon company does not have confidence in Gen 5. I think they're like, oh, people don't... That one doesn't have the same kind of like mainstream hype and appeal. So I think they're going to take Gen 5. And then they're going to take Gen 2. 
and they're going to have a game that, like Legends Arceus, is in like its own little pocket universe, and they're going to yeah. say, here's a region that has elements of Gen 5 and Gen 2, and it's in one place, and then there are some Pokemon that are combos that are like, oh, I'm I'm splitting the difference between this Gen 5 and this Gen 2 Pokemon gets people excited. I That's, that's what I see for them. Um, and I kind of think it'll be a not open world game. I think it'll be like a like a classic, like a little top down guy. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, any anything anything you have to add to this? No, I just That's said a, there uh, won't be. I I just don't think there will be a Pokemon game, which would be year. cool. But yeah, my 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 dream for an ultimate Pokemon game is a give me the Scarlet and Violet style game, but mm. you know make it run well and look nice, and uh, make it Pokemon Infinite. So that this is like an online multiplayer Pokemon game where it's almost, a, it's a live service kind of game. It's still Pokemon. Yeah. But every, say, like year or two, you get a new content update where it takes you to a different region. Mm, see, and it, yeah, I, I, I totally get the appeal of that. I feel like for, for me, it's I understand that they just want to keep selling games in the future. Yeah. yeah. But um, but if, if there was going to be something like that for Pokemon, I've always thought it's weird that they don't have like a, um, for the competitive scene, like this is where we battle. This is like, yeah, yeah, this is, it's just Mm. battles. And then maybe you can like set up your own gym and people can like come challenge it while you're offline. They can get like a little badge that you made and they earn your badge. Like there's so much Mm. cool stuff you could do like that, but yeah. All right. Uh, next big question. Tell me about a switch Two gimmick. What is something unique to the new system that will be mentioned in the marketing? Um, so I've already done this a lot with the Nintendo Switch Life. I've 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 got, gone into this a little bit. But do you do you have something like this that's like oh this no, is the I, selling I ge- part? Yeah. No, I, I genuinely I think they will make a creative way of wording that this thing is just more powerful. Okay, cool. That's the gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah I I think that will be the gimmick. I I, I yeah. would. I, I'm I'm in two minds where like an industry where Nintendo isn't trying to innovate is kind of a bit of a boring one, but mm-hmm. also I just want the Switch that's more powerful because I'm sick of my Switch right now. Yeah, and that's just it's more just kind of me what I want from the Switch rather yeah. than what maybe I think might happen. That's what I want anyway. No, I I see that, and I think Nintendo probably has a way of being like now that we have all this extra power, look at the things that we can do in our games. Yeah, yeah, I I, I see that. I understand. Um, okay, does the Switch Two launch with colored buttons? Are you a believer? Yes. You're with me on this? Yes. Because it's okay. going to be called the Super Nintendo Switch and it's going to have colored buttons. Red, yellow, green, blue. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, this is, of course, I, I've I've long talked about the colored buttons thing. The f- the friends and fans, the longtime followers know, of course, this is a, I had a prophecy about this way before yep. anybody else did. <laughs> and uh, there's been some evidence to it. But I really think that the big thing, Adam, is just that there was never a single Joy-Con with colored buttons. And that is insane. Over yep. the entire seven years of this thing, they never put colored buttons on a single one. They're definitely going to, that's going to be the indicator. You're going to see a Switch 2, whatever, and you're going to go, oh, that's how I know that that's that one. It's got the colored buttons. Okay. Yep. Because I think they did the exact same with the tree or the new 3DS, and I loved my new 3DS that had the, yeah. the four face, colored face buttons. So. Now, the last question on my survey here is that I am asking the viewers to describe in great detail an unannounced Nintendo Switch 2 game. I'm not, listen, I'm not, I'm not giving anybody any answers, so we won't be going into this, but um, have, you th- have you thought about this at all, Adam, since I, since I had you look at this beforehand? Do you have anything? No, no, okay, I don't. Okay. This, right. this was a pr- a, 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 an on the, uh, off the cuff yeah. recording, so. Yeah. Okay, no, no, please, I, I appreciate it. I, 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 in, in place of this, um, I just want to ask you about something selfishly. Yes. Okay, great. So so commenters, fill out your answers, you know, and I want details. The way I'm going to go through this, by the way, is that it's a, it's a possible 16 points, and I can't just have one sentence. That's not how you get 16 points. I need to see, oh, they got that detail right, that detail right, that detail right, A plus, 16 points. That's how I'm doing it, baby. Uh, so it's like an essay. That's right. That's right. And, and you're, I, like the, you're, yeah. the, you're the teacher grading it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, and I will have... A third party checking my grading to see if it's to see if they agree. I will. I, I've I figured this out. So yeah. But um. But I want to ask you something. I don't ask about this on the quiz. But I have been thinking a lot about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And are you somebody that is a? It's gonna get the reboot. It's gonna get the deluxe. It's gonna get the the like. like where, where do you land in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the next generation? Well, since this is backwards compatible in my mind, yeah. I don't think it needs a deluxe edition, a deluxe okay. version. I think, like, I, I, 
I don't, I personally don't think the Switch 2 in general is going to be, we'll sell you Tears of the Kingdom, but a Switch 2 version. I think it's going to be just backwards compatible and the S Tears of the Kingdom will just run on it. And maybe it might be just slightly more powerful where mm. it's like we can up up the resolution and it will just run smoother. That's what I think. And so I think for that reason, I I think every single franchise is going to get like a, a newer game. Like I don't okay. think, you know, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe isn't or yeah. isn't going to be a, just... Right. We have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or... And there's yeah. going to be Mario or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then they're just going to go that way. They're going to make their own games, because what we have to what we have to remember, Jim, yeah, yeah, is that the Switch has been out since 2017, yeah. And if the Switch Two is going to have a similar lifespan, mm -hmm. we cannot go another generation with having just an upgraded version of. You're right. It Smash has to Bros. last. Yeah. It has to last. Yeah. And yeah, and it's it's tough to say where things will come down because like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did last, but that's a very different situation coming from the Wii U, of course. Hmm. Uh, with Smash Brothers, there is a part of me that thinks it is weird that we never got a, maybe other regions did, but the US did not, a, uh, you can buy Smash Brothers Ultimate and all of the DLC on the cartridge. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I. Hmm. It's sus. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Fact check. Ultimate, fact check. Ultimate edition. And, <laughs> and, you, yeah, yeah. And, and I think that might be on like the eShop, but it just gets you the season pass and everything bundled in. Um, I don't think that they're they ever made. Yeah. 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 And I think yeah, that no, that's cause sus. We, yeah, because over here we got like the special edition that came with the mm -hmm. the Smash the controller Pro controller. Yeah. Pro controller and the steel book, but yeah. Yeah. No, so um, that has ever happened. Yeah. So I find that to be suspicious, and I do wonder. And listen, would I be mad if if what they did was here's Smash Brothers Ultimate, -er, and it comes with all of the DLC built in, a few new features, and more DLC coming down the road. So a uh, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe treat. Yes. Yes. But with Smash Ultimate. -er. Yeah, right. Right. And may and mm. maybe it's like, uh got some maybe they're like hey the online is better there's a new mode there's a new there's like some new single player content there's new like blah blah blah, blah. and like it comes out and there's like three new co newcomers day one like i ah there's a world in which i do think that that's possible because i do think with smash specifically it is scary to step away from ultimate so I don't know. Yeah, where do you go after Ultimate, Where I guess? do you go? And, and yeah, my, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, In my heart of hearts, what I want is the reboot that makes it a 3D game. That now it's like a completely different kind of game. But I think you have you do both of those. I think you do Smash Bros. Ultimate -er first. And th so it's there and people have it. And then you do your 3D game. This is good. This is good stuff. Yeah, no, I think it is. If if they do a 3D game. All right. Right. Then yeah, that makes sense. Right. It's good stuff, and and I do think whatever the next one is will be like a departure. You know what I mean? And because it's going to be a departure, you still you would want to have ultimate tur there just so that people relax. Uh, so that's what I think. But but maybe you know I'm not Nintendo. Uh, but these are our bets. Of course, again, link in the description below to this Google form. If you get first off, you got to beat me. I don't think that's going to happen for anybody, but good luck to everybody out there. Let's see if you can beat me. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch Life is definitely going to win. The right? Nintendo Switch definitely. Life, dude. 100%. If, could you imagine the... Yeah, if you got it right. <laughs> what what would, would people think I had inside information? Oh, 100, Jake, okay. I know you personally, and I would still yeah. think you had insider information. Right. There's absolutely no way... Mm -hmm that you can successfully predict that the Nintendo Switch is going to be called a Switch Life without having any inside information. Dude, this, this video goes up, I get a letter from Nintendo. They're like, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Nintendo ninjas knock oh at your door. God. Well, uh, you will have a week from when this video goes live to fill out this form, and then we will look back again next year. We'll see how everybody did. I'm so excited to see uh, everybody res everybody's responses. Adam, thank you so much for taking the time to go through and and uh, and you know you know correct check uh, just stay with me through all of these bets and predictions. It was great to to, to uh, hear hear all the stuff you were saying. I, are you excited for the switch too? Are you excited? Oh, Jake, 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 Jake. You do not understand the feeling I get when I get new technology. There is nothing better. I drove. Well, my girlfriend drove for like 
three hours round trip to get a PlayStation portal. The PSVR 2 is coming out. I can't sleep the night before. The Switch 1, I will never, ever forget the day that I got that console. Yes, I'm excited. That's awesome. Okay, good. Because yeah. that's how I feel as well. I'm, I'm, I'm I'll right be like a kid you. on Christmas. Yeah, it, it's it's a good, and especially for a Nintendo thing where I feel like there is this air of mystique that like PlayStation yeah. doesn't quite have. They don't quite, you know yeah. what I mean? There's like a, like I'm about to, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Something I haven't felt before. So uh, yeah, it's always an exciting time. Um, but thank you everybody for tuning in. Now this is where I put like my little credit screen in. Thank you to all the Patreons. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's playing right now over us talking. And uh, now we're back. And Adam, we're like in the post show now, so now you get to now we get to relax a little bit. And I wasn't, oh. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep you on for this part or not. But I've decided I am. Okay. And uh, and I want to and I and we we just went through we just did this whole whole episode. Now we're now we're just kind of speaking casually for the audience here. This is just, just like a bonus bit. And um, I wanted to ask you, as somebody who's yes. been doing the YouTube thing for a long time, and I'm yes. just now kind of starting off doing this YouTube thing on my own. What do you love about it? About doing YouTube? Yeah, what do you love about it? What keeps you going? Uh, Adam, you're doing videos all the time. I guess it's a couple of things. Yeah. First of all, I love games. Yeah. I yeah. love playing games. I love talking about games. I think that is the number one thing that you need to have to want to do this mm. because all like doing YouTube is tough. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I've worked on building sites. I know how hard life is when you're on your hands and knees lifting heavy stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say it's hard in that sense. I just mean, okay. you know, it can knock you every now mm. and again. You upload, mm. a, oh, you upload a video a couple of days ago. I've got 50 views. Oh, you know, love those 50 people, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I do. I appreciate yeah. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. But, you know, it hits, it, it knocks mm. you down. Mm. So the number one thing you have to have is a love or a passion for what you're doing. Cool. And... I think that is the main thing that's keeping me going. Another thing that's keeping me going yeah. is, ideally, I mean, I would like to have my channel and be able to do this as a job. Because right. there's no better job in my eyes, just mm. playing, talking about games. They're the main two things that keep me going anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's the love of games, the love of games. I, and I'll, I think, yeah. I hope that that is evident by watching my content wow. because you can see the amount of games that I play. Yeah. I, I simply just love them. I like that you're chasing the dream. That that's part of it. I think as, yeah, as we, well, yeah. yeah, as we get a little older, I think it's I think the dream becomes harder to grasp. You yeah, know what I mean? Because because life is just there's so much yep. to life. Um, last thing I want from you. What's something that people don't know about you? People watch your channel. That... They they know they know about you in games, Adam. We all know about games. We love games. We're here for games. You just said that's what keeps you going. You play games. You love games. But I I put the games aside. Put the controller okay. down. Okay, and just down. and just look inward and tell me something that people don't know about you. Something people don't know about. Yeah, yeah. Me. I love I'm that. I, I love that I'm doing person. this. You're an emotional, I'm a very emotional person. That's I, that's one yeah. thing. I love that I had you uh, on for this. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I think yeah. that is one thing that you don't really see yeah. through YouTube videos. You you feel that you are somebody who feels emotions deeply. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow, and and you feel like you're in touch with those emotions? Yes, yes, very, wow. very, very. I, I, I've, I've, always, I've always been like that. I've always yeah. worn my heart on my sleeve. I've always been an extremely honest person to my detriment most wow. of the time. And yeah, that I think that that's the one thing. Uh, a couple of other things. I'm yeah. left-handed. There's something small. Okay, I knew I that about. I knew that about you from playing yeah. VR together. I knew. I knew you were. Yeah, VR. yeah, yeah. It, it hurts. I play guitar. Okay. I love golf. Yeah. There's loads of other things yeah. about me that isn't just games. I love cooking. Yeah. Wait, really? And yeah, I what's, love it. What's something you make? Uh, well, my if if I'm having people over yeah. and I'm making one thing, it's a prawn or shrimp, as the Americans call them. Yeah. Lemon Whoa. and chili pasta. Cool. Yeah. All right. This is good. I also love coffee as well. I okay. I need but the like, coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. But on like. Like, you know, I don't want to be one of these people that's, you know, a snob, but on, on, a, on a different level. I yeah. have an espresso machine. I have a V60. I have a French press. I have a nice grinder. I buy yeah. nice beans. Yeah. You, yeah, okay. I See, that's, that's cool. I've got, a, I've got a place near me that I send people that are really into coffee, the beans, because I feel that the beans are, yeah. But yeah. Um, this is, beans. see, 
I love. See, I love this. I need the commenters to tell me: Are they into this? Is this? Is this like? Are they watching this right now with bated breath, like I am? I'm so curious, not just to hear what you're gonna say, but when I ask people a question like this, where their mind goes first, I just feel like it's so interesting. And I, I'm really. I think it's very sweet that the first thing you said was that you're very emotional. I, I think that that's very sweet. I, because you just don't hear that a lot. Not a lot of people self-describe as emotional. No, 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 no. I, I don't really think I've ever heard somebody say that, but I am yeah. a deeply emotional person. You go, Do you, like, go to movies and you feel like you really feel them? Is that part of it? Oh, well, there, there was a time, if, if we're getting deep, Jake, okay? Yeah. There was, a, there was a time in my life where I had never cried at anything. I mean, like, yeah. except for, you know, funerals. And blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd say it was around, I'd say the age of 17 or 18. Mm. I watched, you ever watch the documentary Blackfish? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I love SeaWorld. I loved SeaWorld, my dad. And when I was a kid, I was fascinated by SeaWorld. I went there a couple of times and I loved the orcas. I loved the dolphins. I love I love sea life as well. That's another thing. I was almost going to go do marine biology yeah. in, uh, in college. And the thing that got me, yes, it was really sad seeing the orca babies being ripped away from their, from the mothers and all that. But the thing that got me is they put the camera on themselves. Yeah. Went in, went into the, into the, the exhibits and were talking to the people outside, the instructors, and asking them, oh, why is his dorsal fin flopped over? And they're like, oh, he was found like that. Mm. And there, when they proved that all them facts were all lies, all them little things were all lies, I pictured myself as a seven-year-old boy. Mm sitting outside the exhibit mm. asking the instructor the exact same question and I'm lying straight to my face. Mm. And I think that's what I mean by I'm emotional. I can yeah. put myself in situations mm -hmm. like that yeah. and put people in myself in other people's shoes like that and almost feel the emotion. So that's what I mean by that. And it was when that was the turning point where now I cry at everything. And wow. I think part of it yeah. is getting in a dog yeah. And also having a girlfriend that I loved. Falling in love. That'll it'll change yeah. your life. No, yeah, no, it yeah. does. And now like Jake. Yeah. Everything. You know that episode, the the Bill episode of Last Was Part Yeah, of two? course, of course. Yeah. Balling like a baby. Yeah. Did you ever see Goodbye Christopher Robin? Of course. Winnie the Pooh is my Winnie, favorite yeah, character. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My favorite character of all time. Yeah. I have a Winnie the Pooh teddy bear that I've had since I was four. Oh. Yeah. And when I saw Winnie oh. the Pooh say he's sitting there waiting for Christopher Robin to get back, I was in the cinema, tears streaming <laughs> down my face. And then my girlfriend starts to cry beside me because I'm crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean when I'm emotional. Wow. Adam, Music gets yeah. me too. Yeah. Music gets me too. I feel like what you're demonstrating to me is an ability to take your own, put your own perspective to the side and really like put yourself in somebody else's shoes and, and physically feel what they're feeling. And I feel like that's something that would be really helpful if you were like an actor number one but two it's yeah. just like a, it's just like a good life skill it's a good like and and i think it probably speaks to a degree to why you enjoy video games i think that there's like a, a connection there with being in the shoes of another having access to somebody else's perspective um so that's really cool adam adam thank you so much for sharing that that was that was exactly I'm not even going to talk about games anymore on this channel. I'm just going to yeah. I'm just going to talk ask about emotions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get 100 comments that are just like no more emotions talk, Jake. No yeah, more yeah, emotions. Yeah. Come on. We just want games. Yeah. We exactly. just want games, bro. Well, um Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Adam, thank you so much for being just a perfect first guest on Catch My Drift. Remember to fill out the survey in the description below. I will have a link to Adam's channel in the description below as well. But you can always find Adam's channel if you go to my channel and just, like, scroll down a little bit. You're, like, featured. So you're on Oh, the, really? Oh, yeah. I need to do that for you. I, no, I haven't updated my channel in a while. You're, like, one of my, my buddies. I put a list of, of ah. channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a buddy. So um, I'm, I'm going to yeah. create a category of people who have a wrong name for the Nintendo Switch 2 and have right. you in that one. That's good. Nintendo Switch Life. Um, yep. I, <laughs> there is a degree now to which I, just for the pure madness of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. All right. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. This has been great. Uh, let me know what you thought of this con content. If you want to see more comment, content like this in the future, I'll be reading those comments. And I'll see you next week, uh, where I hope you'll continue to catch my drift. Goodbye. <laughs>